my fellow Americans, at this holy time of the year, families across our nation gather in homes, churches, and synagogues to light candles and to praise God. During the sacred holiday of Passover, Jewish families around the world give thanks to God for liberating the Jewish people from bondage in Egypt and delivering them to the promised land of Israel. For Christians, we remember the suffering and death of God's only son and his glorious resurrection on the third day. On Easter Sunday, we proclaim with joy, Christ is risen. Both of these sacred celebrations remind us that God's love redeems the world. Almost 3,000 years ago, the prophet Isaiah wrote, darkness covers the earth, but the Lord rises upon you and his glory appears over you. For the Lord will be your everlasting light. In America, we look to the light of God to guide our steps. We trust in the power of the Almighty for wisdom and strength. And we praise our Heavenly Father for the blessings of freedom and the gift of eternal life. Happy Passover. Happy Easter. Thank you. God bless you. And God bless you. Ladies and gentlemen, Christ died on the cross for our sins. This Easter, you need to think about that and spend time with your family and recognize this is an important holiday. This is a Christian holiday. We have been vilified for so long, but finally we have a president that lets us openly observe this holiday. With that being said, folks, I want you to have a happy Easter. Spend time with your family. And enjoy it. We have the opportunity to do so openly now. We don't have to hide it anymore. And I have one last message. Before I end this. And I want you all to personally know this. God bless America. We can succeed in making America great again. And by doing so. We can keep America great. Those of you seeing this, please share the video. Thank you very much.